Today we're going to tie you up the flesh eating sculpin. Now it's a great pattern for big fish in lakes or rivers and what I discovered on Redfern River Lodge is when we were fishing the creek mouths there were some big fish sitting there you know six to eight pound rainbows. I was able to hook them but I wasn't able to land them so make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook we'll use a size 6 4x long stainless steel streamer. We'll use some 6 aught red thread to tie with a 7 32nd inch yellow dumbbell eyes for the eyes, some red thread for the butt, small pearl chenille for the body, green crystal flash for the underwing, some golden olive grizzly hackles for the side fins, we'll use some brown ostrich hurl to wrap the body, some claret teal flank as a collar, more pearl chenille for the thorax, and to finish off some white rabbit to imitate the flesh. So I've tied my thread onto the hook and now I've got my dumbbell eyes. And when you tie the dumbbell eyes, you want them on top of the hook. So we're gonna tie this on top. And what it'll actually do is this weighted eyes will pull the fly upside down so it actually runs along the bottom. These eyes will bounce along the bottom. So make sure you tie them on the top of the hook, just slightly back from the eyelet. And give them a bunch of figure eights and make sure you tie them in quite well. You don't want them sliding. Now that my eyes are tied in and they're quite nice and solid, you know, I probably made 30, 40 wraps on those eyes to tie them in. I've moved my thread to the back of the hook and I'm going to form just a little bit of a red butt on this fly. I'm just going to wrap in just a little bit of red thread right at the, right at the hook shank, right at the hook bend. Move up about a quarter of an inch just so we remain to have a red butt on there. And then I'm going to tie in my pearl chenille that we're going to wrap up and form the body. So tie it in, move my thread forward back to the eyes, and wrap a body in. And make sure you leave the small red butt out the back of the fly. Now that the body's tied in and your thread is back towards the back of the dumbbell eyes, I'm going to take about five strands of crystal flash, my green crystal flash, and I'm going to tie it in right uh, behind the eyes. And I want to move them around a little bit. I actually want them underneath on the bottom part of the fly. Because uh, as I said earlier, the bottom of this fly is actually the top. So we want that crystal flash on the bottom of the fly. And I'm going to cut it just past the length of the hook. Now that we have the crystal flash underwing tied in, I'm going to take a couple of long thicker hackles. So I've got some of my, my grizzly, green grizzly um, hackle here. And I'm going to just pull, see the very tip. I want the very tip of this material. I don't want any of the bottom stuff, just the tip. And we're going to tie in one on one side and one on the other. And you want them so they extend just past the length of the hook and no further, just slightly past the hook length. And tie one on each side. Now that we have the side fins tied in, I've taken about 10 strands of my brown ostrich hurl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie some on the top and some on the bottom. So I'm at, and I want them about the length, just past the length of those, uh, those fins we just tied in. So I'll tie some on top and let them splay out a little bit. And then we're going to put another, tie in another 10 or so on the bottom of the hook. And you want this fly to be fully circled by all the ostrich hurl. And more at the bottom. So your whole fly is encased with that ostrich hurl. A lot of times I'll just leave the red behind and go up and tie in the rabbit, but a lot of times I like to put in this teal, this teal collar. It's actually quite a claret color. So what I'm gonna do is tie it in by the tip. And I'm just going to wrap it a few times and put a collar on the fly. And this just accentuates the pattern. After tying in the collar and wrapping my thread back in front of the eyes, I'm going to tie in the final step and that's a little clump of white rabbit and this just imitates the, the flesh. Imitate that the, the fish is actually picked up a 
little chunk of something, and he's trying to get away. So we'll wrap that in, and we'll finish off right at the head. So there it is, the finished flesh-eating sculpin. You know, I found this fly on the internet. I went through it and found it very intriguing to try this pattern in the Columbia River first for these big rainbows. I had such good success in the springtime, I also thought I'd try it in some creek malls or some lakes, and it caught Dolly Varden, big rainbows, and actually numerous other coarse fish. So it's a great overall pattern. Give it a try. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.